Hello guys and welcome back to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. In today's lesson I'm going to teach you guys how to create black and white images. Now the, the reason I have three layers over here is because there's actually three separate ways you can create black and white images. Um, actually there's four uh, now that I think about it, it comes to mind. So I'm going to show you how to do them all. So let's just go ahead and hide all the other layers and let's just start with the bottom layer. Now the first thing I want to do is go ahead and create a layer above that and once I've done that I'm going to go to my paint bucket tool and my computer's acting really slow today I'm not sure why and just select the paint bucket tool like so once it's selected I'm gonna flip my layers around and fill that with black and then once I've done that I can go over here to saturation and you can see here that then makes that black and white. So I'll create a uh, folder here called um, BW1, and I'll just drop those in there. All right, so that's technique number one. Technique number two is actually even simpler. So you just go to Image, Adjustments, and you click on uh, the Hue and Saturation, and you just take the saturation completely out, and you hit OK same basic idea and that one there is actually probably more simple than the first one now the second one we go to image adjustments black and white and once we're in black and white it automatically creates it to be black and white and we hit OK and it's done again very simple to do even simpler than the, se than the second step so just another great technique right there. Now this is where um, it's going to become a little bit more tricky. This layer here, I'm going to show you how to do it, but and I'm, I need to explain why. In this one, we're actually going to use our um, adjustment layers and click on black and white. And you'll see here, it brings up the same selection menu we had just moments earlier. Um, but the difference is, is it actually creates your adjustment layer so that I can actually hide that on an, on an image or even select the uh, the adjustment layer and delete the parts of it that I don't want on it. So if I wanted to go back later and actually create it into a colored image, I could. Um, so it, it is another option. But um, yeah, this is this is probably the best way overall to do things, um, just simply because you have the ability to go back later on and readjust it again. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and be sure to comment below, subscribe to our channel, and let us know with any tutorial ideas you guys might have. Thanks, and have an amazing day.